Carrot cakes are steam cooked, and when you serve them, you pan fry them or uh, pan sear them. Uh, if you've ever had dim sum, you'll see them uh, in the metal carts that the people push around, and you usually eat it with uh, oyster sauce. To start, we have 20 pounds of turnips. We have this, which is kind of like a Chinese sausage. It's called uh, lap chung. And then we have this thing. It says smoked bacon. Uh, it's called lap yok in Cantonese. Uh, yeah, I guess it's Chinese bacon. And then we also have this rice flour. Uh, you need one bag for every two pounds of turnips. Uh, we have a food processor and a big colander for everything we've done. We also have Chinese mushrooms or tonku. Uh, I don't know how many we have in here. Uh, maybe like 20. And we're just soaking them in warm water so they're uh, soft because they come dry and very hard. And then we also have, I guess, a cup of dried shrimp uh, that we're also soaking in, in warm water. Actually, no, that's cold water. Yeah, cold water, just so they're soft as well. It's called a uh, hamai. The preserved meats are quite dense and difficult to cut through. Therefore, you'll want to use a large sharp knife, maybe even a cleaver. Here we cut them into strips and then dice them into tiny cubes. Currently, you're supposed to <laughs> cut the skin off. You're not supposed to dice it along with the rest of the meat. It's too tough to chew through, so you're supposed to take the skin and dump it in the cauldron uh, so you only get the flavor, and then later you'll pick it back out. Right here we have the uh, dried shrimp. Uh, we're just going to pour the water in, also for flavor. Because we soaked the mushrooms in water, they're now soft and we can cut through them with ease. The thickness of the turnip just has to be small enough so it fits into the food processor. I cut a hole into a plastic bag and taped it onto the food processor because the food processor spout is too small. The bag will help funnel the turnip shreds into the cauldron. Some of the turnips were too old, so their fibers were thicker and more difficult to cut. The food processor slowed down its cutting speed, as you may have heard. This is because the uncut pieces were getting stuck in the blades. Here we're mixing the smoked bacon, Chinese sausage, and Chinese mushrooms together. We're going to cook them until the meats become softer. So this is uh, all the turnips in the end. It kind of looks like uh, coleslaw. Now we're just going to stir. We pour the mushroom water in, but not all of it, because there's dirt on the bottom. When the turnips are ready, they'll release water and look like applesauce. Don't forget to remove the smoked bacon skin as well. White pepper pot. We add a teaspoon of sugar and a decent amount of salt. Over here we set up some newspaper and a stool. Uh, to mix it all on the ground. <laughs> Still one more bag. One and a half, actually. Make sure you stir in everything, otherwise the mixture won't be consistent. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.